Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 17 wins, six losses. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Seoul, South Korea. Introducing the challenger, the Korean zombie, Chan Song. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 22 wins, one loss. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Israel, the last. All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up and we are underway. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, let's get this one started here. Round one is underway. And we've got a striker who is a force to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is. And this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Look at the turnover in that kick. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Marsha, there's the early takedown. Pretty evident, DC, that he wants to get this fight to the ground, and he was certainly able to do so there. He felt like he had a massive advantage in the wrestling, and if he attempted takedowns, he would secure him. Let's see what he does from this position. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strokes. Yeah, the ground and pound. Oh, it looks like he's transitioning on ball. You cannot stay in the guard of these great jujitsu guys. Gotta be careful, Armbar. There it is. Now he falls back into the finishing position. Brilliant submission defense there. All right, full guard here, DC. We'll see how soon he tries to pass. Well, he needs to be passing immediately. In the full guard is where you are in most danger as a top fighter because they have all of their submissions. Right. They have the guillotine, they have the arm bar, they have the kimuras, they have all their locks when they're in the full guard. So if you pass, you really do limit the danger that you're in from the top position. And Jones got the full mount. Two minutes have expired off the first round clock. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Adesanya. Back to the stand up now. Both fighters upright. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. So as we pull up some numbers here for you, 29 total strikes have now landed for Chan Sung Jump. Now connects with a right. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by the Korean Zong. And that one certainly found the target. Oh, and he lands another punch. He has got it all going tonight. He's got it all going. He's landing those over and over again. Punch over the top. And the takedown attempt. But he does not land it. Also, the taller fighter lands in knee yet again. Lands the right hand. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Now on 
Adesanya mixing it up a little bit. We'll see what he can offer on the canvas. I mean, he can do it all. He's long told us that he has a great ground game. Nobody has forced him to use it yet. Let's see what he does with this position. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Great punch landing with so much power. Damaging punch there. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbows tuck to the ribs. The jab goes out. The jab comes right back to the face. It's picture-perfect technique, almost like a Taibo class or something like that. Punch coming. It's blocked. What a punch. All right, so the commitment to the takedown pays off. After several failed attempts, he finally gets his first takedown. Now let's see what he can do with it. Now he sees the triangle. And this could be trouble here. Looks like it's pretty tight. He's trying to work his head out of harm's way. It, it might be over. Watch triangle, watch triangle. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Chan Sung Jung. Oh, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his oh. opponent. Second oh. round, straight ahead. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round. And at some point, these are going to really start to take their time. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick. And watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Counters now left hook to the head lands. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Oh, beautiful land there by Adesanya. You hear this crowd just eating out of his hand, oohing and on every time he advances. I mean, he just captures your imagination from the walkout to the entrance when he's in the octagon, the fighting style. He just kind of has that thing that makes you want to stop and stare at Israel Adesanya. 72 total strikes have landed for Israel Adesanya. Well, six out of every 10 strikes roughly have found the mark, landing with 60% accuracy against the Korean zombie Chan Sung Jung. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Well, the Korean zombie's kick blocked. Slip that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. Oh! Oh, yes. Now we're going. He's got him hurt here. He's in trouble. He's getting lit up. Oh! Blocks that kick to the body. Three minutes remain in the round. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he has taken control of this second round. You don't know when that leg kicks come. Nice punch by the Korean zombie. Trying to establish that jab once again. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. 
Well, the Korean Zombie's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Two minutes now to go in the round. Oh, and yet another knee finds the target. So a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. The takedown is not there. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found the set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Try to establish that jab. Big punch land. Ooh. He landed a good uppercut there. Oh, straight right. Another shot lands upstairs. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Nice punch by Chan Sung Jung. And he landed the right hand there. Seconds winding down in round two. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Straight right, he misses. Takedown defense holds up. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch. Roll. Tremendous kickboxing skills on display there by the middleweight champ Israel Adesanya. I mean, Israel Adesanya does not get... Oh! Oh! Beautiful diving strike lands. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go change that finish down now. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Adesanya's got a big bruise starting to form on the right side of his body. All right, operating inside the closed guard now. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Now he's attacking the triangle. Triangle looks pretty tight, DC. I'm no Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt, but maybe not good here. No, it looks like it's getting in deep. Watch triangle, watch triangle. He 
needs to push the arm to the side. Get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes. Nicely done. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Chan Sung Jung. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. So make it 161 total strikes. Yeah, it looks a little wobbly on his feet. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instance. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, beautiful display on the feet there by the champ out of sight. You haven't seen many guys that have come from straight kickboxing and done as well as the last style bender. He's a fantastic fighter, and that's why he's skyrocketing to the top of the division. Well, from a striking standpoint, he has put it all together tonight. He has landed a ton of significant strikes in. Pretty easy fight, I would think, for the judges to score. It's a pretty easy fight to score. Tonight was a night where everything went right, and that doesn't happen very often. Oh! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he goes with the punch, and he lands. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, north-south position here. We'll see if the crowd can be mature about this, DC. Thirty seconds now to go in the round. Well, the Korean Zombies has got full mount now. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know, know when, when to hold him. Yep, absolutely. Go. Take a seat, bud. That was awesome, okay? You really hurt him there. You knocked him down, he's almost ready to go, okay? This round, I want him out of there. All right, so there's the end of the round. The big moment in it, of course, the shot to the liver that buckled his opponent. He hurt him bad. He went right to the liver, boom, landed it on the sweet spot, and was very surprised that opponent, his opponent was able to stand up to him. But he's going down the right path. He needs to continue to throw these strikes to the body. All right, here we go. The tension is palpable. Yeah, fourth round is underway. You've got a thing or two to say about these championship rounds. The fourth round is... Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. Whoa! Oh! He's done it. He's done it. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. to land the leg kick now. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, straight right. An uppercut later. Throwing haymakers out of the exchange. Oh, spinning back fist. to the head blocked. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. That one is going to end the fight. Yeah. <laughs> oh. 
So there it is, taller fighter landing a knee with the body. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Swing and a miss with that punch by Adesanya. Trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, Block. he gets denied. Blocked! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Oh! He's out! Oh. He's done! He's done! I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout. And that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So a big, big win for him here tonight. Well, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both.